up a very old project here. This is from way back when I made a little Arduino bandwidth monitor. And this thing, when I first made it, had a custom uh, C Sharp console app that ran on my computer and then talked to this directly via serial. This was before the Wemos uh, D1 minis and the ESP 8266s and all that. It was long before all that came out. So I have actually had some revived interest in this lately. So I found this thing again and it has been hidden. Um, the print quality of this case is pretty low and you can see uh, at the time I had a 25 meg download with a 5 meg upload. That was pretty good but I have 300 over 300 now on my fiber connections so these little panels are actually pretty old now. Alright, so after working on this a little bit yesterday, I decided to get back to it today. And as you can see, we have some meters moving. <clears throat> so one of the things that I found, these Wemos D1 minis, because they are 3.3 uh, volts, it wouldn't actually trigger our meters to go all the way over to the sides. So um, because we're powering this off of USB right now, there is a 5 volt that's right here. So what we did is we took that, put that out on its own rail, and we basically put the positives to these meters on that 5 volt rail. And then to trigger the 5 volts, we're just using the PWM off the Wemos to trigger our little transistors that are feeding the 5 volt into our meters, giving us this. So as you can see from the code, and let's go ahead and let's reset this guy. So when it resets, first thing it does, it sets both to zero. Then it sets them both to 100, uh, 1024, uh, which is the 10-bit PWM signal. And then we wait in between those, and then I run this code here. And we basically, we loop through this one, and we loop through this one. So basically, we count from zero to, one to, um, to 1025, then from 1025 back down to zero. And we, I just have these inverting so that we can actually get the meters going opposite directions. But if we speed this up, and let's have this do that way, and we'll go ahead and let's update this one. And our meter should go much faster. So our next step, since this is a Wemos D1 Mini, we're going to put this on the wireless. And we're also going to give it a MQTT client. And the reason for that is right here. Right here are some MQTT nodes that are being updated pretty regularly to show the bandwidth in and out of the network. Let's turn on this overhead so you can see. So this is updating about once every second, once every two seconds. And what this is, is this is actually running uh, just a simple Python script in a Docker container that I wrote that connects to my router. Right now, I have this actually running in my Kubernetes cluster. And having it in my Kubernetes cluster or on a Docker desktop, you can actually tell it to automatically restart. So in the event that my router reboots, wireless dis gets disconnected, anything happens, that Docker container will continue to restart, meaning that these values are going to constantly be attempting to push. So if my MQTT broker reboots, it doesn't matter. As soon as it comes back up, these values will come back, meaning that our little you know, windshield wiper monitor here all it'll have to do is it'll just continually try to reconnect to the MQTT, meaning that we should never have to touch this thing once we supply power to it. Perfect. Let's 
open up some Inkscape and let's make these backgrounds. 